today I'm going to talk about Education Galaxy. It's a program online for children to use as an online assessment practice and instruction. It is currently being used in schools and for those who homeschool or are homeschooling right now as most of us are, it is also a great tool to use. I'm going to go through the website. I'm going to do just an overview and then we're going to talk about it and I'm going to show you what it looks like as a, ch a student logging in. On the home page here it does have a demo. We're just going to open it up not watch the whole thing. All right. Cute. Let's see if I go to programs here. So let's talk about the program. What is special about the program that Education Galaxy offers? Other than its overall theme being aliens and the galaxy, which is pretty cool. Um, it says here that it is um, an award-winning online assessment for students and helps prepare them for the state testing. Okay, it is 100% to your state standards. That's important, I think. So I want to learn more about that. So here it gives you a map and it shows you uh, the different states. You can choose what state you live in to make sure that it does align correctly to your state standards. So here's an example in California. All my Californians, if that looks correct, I think we're good to go. So whether we like it or not, every state is doing state testing. I don't think that's going to be going away. So it is important to, if you have your child enrolled in um, public school, it's important to go ahead and make sure that they are doing well uh, in what they're learning aligned with the test that they will be taking. Knock out two birds with one stone here. All right, let's talk about pricing. For teachers, this is free. The school that my children go to, the district we're in, it is um, being used by the teachers. Therefore, we have access to it at home for free which is pretty awesome. If you do not have access to it at home because your district, your school district, or your, your school in particular is not using this program, then let's talk about the pricing. All right, we're not a school and we're not teachers. Let's talk for parents. It says it's affordable. Let's see, $5.99 per month. That includes one student, one subject, or one grade level. It's up to you to decide whether or not this is affordable for you in your financial situation. Is that something you can afford? Here's what the sign up page looks like. So I am not a teacher. I would be clicking on I'm a parent and then you would click register here. Once you fill out this information, click submit. And if you do this, you can leave a comment below and let me know how the rest of this looks. I'm not gonna fill that out because I don't need to. All right, um, I guess I'll go here to show you just that you can contact them directly if you have any of these questions or any other questions regarding them. Here's a toll-free number, um, or you can contact them through the website. Okay, now I'm going to log in. This is what the page looks like for um, the student logging in. Down here, you can see it has login with Clever, login with ClassLink, and kindergarten through first grade students, 
with emoji passwords get to click here for a simple sign on. That's pretty neat because um, it's, there's so many sign ons for kids with passwords. It's hard to keep up with. I mean, it's hard for us adults to keep up with the many passwords we have at work, at home, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to type this in here and show you what the page, the home page looks like as a student logging in. Ta-da! Did you wash your hands? Yes, thank you. Nice reminder. So you can see the page is very colorful and it's galaxy themed with aliens, my education galaxy profile. You can do a chat with a teacher. Click on that and a little sidebar comes up. If your teacher's online, it tells you your grade level here. It lets you go up a grade level and down one grade level. You get to collect galaxy stars. As you go through and do the different assignments or little mini lessons and testing, you can get galaxy stars. And once you get galaxy stars, you can also unlock rockets. These are two of the rockets my daughter has um, received already. Kids love these rockets. Blasters, you have to unlock these nice incentives for the kids um, you get to unlock them with so many stars all right you have your alien avatar here as you keep going you can unlock more and more rewards and you can change your avatar i believe so this is what my daughter has at the moment You get an alien ranking. My child is on the first level. And then there's new levels. You can read how, what you have to get in order to go to the next. All right, here's what's important. There's my stats here and game scores. That's, this is probably more for kids. My stats, okay. I don't have much in here right now, but you can look through. This is for third grade, by the way. You can look through here. You can find the standard, the state standard under, this is under math, um, number and operations, 3.2 AB for place value. And it tells you if you're not, if you don't know, which most of us don't, you can read through the summary of what that state standard is regarding place value. And then once your child goes through a lesson that touches on that particular state standard, you'll see how many um, total answered, total correct, and the, their overall score goes here. Okay. Right now my child has done the odd or even which is state standard, determine if a number is even or odd using divisibility rules. And she answered five questions and got five out of five correct. She got a hundred there. And down here, she did two and 3D objects. She answered 10 questions. She got seven correct, which gave her a 70. Okay, and she got a star. Okay, let's go back home. If you're working from a teacher giving assignments, then I think they do come up here. You click on whatever it is. My child had a comparing fraction, subtraction, area, multiplication assignment. And she submitted that already. So it will show here, score has not been determined yet. But that's pretty neat. Okay. 
diagnostics. So your child will take a pretest and they'll have a, a post test in the end, but the pretest is what helps determine where your child is at. Um, therefore, it will give your child questions that are needed to enhance their understanding. So it's catered to the child. Okay, so my child answered 70 questions and got 47 correct, which gave her a 67% score. I know that you can stop the test and go back to it later to finish. It is pretty long. Okay, so here again, basically determining where you're at. Is it critical? Do you need some study required? Or have you mastered it? And it will show you here. My daughter has some topics mastered and then some she needs to study and these ones here and she, you would just click on the arrow to go straight to it so let's do that place value okay watch a mini lesson and then after that I believe you get to choose your game she's unlocked three and she has more to unlock so it's kind of a fun way to learn your child doesn't feel like they're like learning a lesson, but they actually are. Um, and it's they like I said, there's incentives when you get the stars, when you're able to unlock the next level. So it's, that's uh, pretty good for them. It's a good way to get the kids interested. Okay, so that's your study plan. Well, sorry, that we did my recommended topics. Here is the study plan. And you get to see the stars. Once you complete it and you get a galaxy star, you'll see how many you have. I'm clicking on math mostly because that's what my child is signed up for. All right, Alien Arena. This is something that you get to, you can play online at the same time with other students or other kids. And um, I think. I'm not sure if you could do this if you just sign up as an individual. I know that my child's teacher hosted an alien arena. So she set a time for the kids to log in from home, those who wanted to join. And um, there were a list of questions that would pop up on the screen. And you would get a chance to answer it. And it would tell you if you got it right or wrong. And then you'd have to wait for the other kids to answer it. And then at the end um, of that one question, you got to see your points. And then there was a little game. All right. That's my overview of Education Galaxy. It is a pretty um, interesting way to get your kids in, um, excited about learning. I find it helpful with my child. Let me know what you think by posting below. If you have used Education Galaxy, let me know. If you like it or don't like it, what is your opinion? Like if you enjoyed this and subscribe as always. We'll see you next time with another edition of an educational review. Bye.